I'd like you to imagine that you're a guest at a dinner party and the host is famous for her homemade pasta and meatballs. And she serves you a dish that looks like this. And imagine that this dish will not affect your arteries in any way. It's actually not, not bad for you, just imagine. How, just imagine whether you would find this dish delicious or disgusting. Now, for those of you who would find this delicious, even if you don't eat this way anymore, you might still like the flavor of these foods. For those of you who would find this delicious, imagine that you find it so delicious that you ask the host for her recipe. And flattered, she replies, well, the secret is in the meat. You need to start out with three pounds of extra lean golden retriever. How many of you would find this delicious? There's always one. All right. Don't be shy. Would you pick out the golden retriever balls and just eat the, I know that made that doubly gross. Pick out the golden retriever meat and just eat the pasta and sauce around it. So take a moment to reflect on your thoughts and feelings. And chances are what you thought of just moments ago as food, you now think of as a dead animal. And what you just felt was delicious, you now feel is disgusting. Chances are your experience of the meat dramatically changed, even though nothing about the meat itself actually changed. So what is it then that changed? Right, what changed is your perception of the meat. Now, our perception is the lens that we look at the world through. And when it comes to eating animals, our perception is shaped largely, if not entirely, by our culture. In fact, in meat-eating cultures around the world, people tend to have a tiny handful of animals that they have learned to classify as edible. All the rest, we learn to classify as inedible and therefore disgusting. And so even though the type of species consumed changes from culture to culture, Members of all cultures tend to find their own choices to be rational and the choices of other cultures to be disgusting and often even offensive. So what's striking is not the presence of disgust. Disgust is the norm, it's the rule rather than the exception. What's striking is the absence of disgust. Why are we not disgusted by the five, six, seven, maybe if you're an adventurous eater, species we've been taught to thought, think of as edible? And perhaps more importantly, why don't we ever ask why?